It is a great honor and a privilege to introduce Robertson Schlesinger and Robertson Rottenberg. And here we are in Bight Regan. And thank you so much for agreeing for us to <laughs> be with you this evening. And Robertson, if you could. Okay. Uh, okay, Robertson Schlesinger, um, I would like first of all to ask you, can you tell me where were you born and a little bit about your background, your family, your parents, and what kind of a childhood you had till the war broke out? Yes, I was born in Krakow, Poland. And my, my parents, my mother, from whom she was a Landau, and it was a large family, there were nine children. Everyone was married. My mother was the youngest, and she already had two children. So you said, "I'm the elder, and a sister, one and a half years younger than me." Uh, Your father? My, my father. He was a F. Luskarten, Wolf, Wolf, so Luskarten. It was very interesting with the marriage of my parents. My mother was the youngest daughter, and when my grandmother, my mother's mother, passed away, my mother was 16 years old. 16? 16. And she was the only one at home. All the others were already married. Some of them were with large families already. And when she got married, then her condition was that her father remains with her. When she getting married, she wanted her father to live with her. She was a very special girl, and a very pretty girl, and excellent family, everything. But, but, you know, to marry right away with a schwer at home, not everyone was ready. And until one Bucher came and they told him, listen, everything is fine, wonderful, but, but she wants her father to live. So he, he said, yes, yeah, that's why I want her. That's why I want her. This was my Amazing. Father. Yes. This was my father. And uh, when the war broke out, how old Sorry. was you? How old were you? I, I was four. Four when the war broke out the, in Krakow. No, no, no. I was four. Yes. Yes. Was, uh, no, thirty-nine. The war broke out. No, it was only two years old. Two years. But when we well, four years. When I was four years, we entered the ghetto. We had to in Krakow. In Krakow. Yes. yes. In Krakow, there were two ghettos. Yes. Ghetto A and Ghetto B. They were all in Podgush, yes? Yes. 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 And uh, Ghetto A, uh, this was meant for families where both parents worked for the Germans. Work. Work. Yes. Ghetto B were the elderly people or people who had large families. No, there were many, I don't know how you say, actions. Axiot, yes, yes, they took away. Yes, in ghetto B. So that's why my parents decided they wanted to be only in ghetto A. a. And I even, even have a letter of my grandfather who wrote to the Germans they should allow him to stay with his daughter because she's the one who takes care of him. Yes. And and really he and they stayed in ghetto A. Ghetto a. My mother did not work. No. no. My father worked for the German, my mother didn't. Why? Because there were many cases where parents went to work. Yes. And when they came home, they didn't find their children anymore. So she was afraid. So she was afraid. She said, I don't leave my children. So that meant that we had no place to stay because only if you worked, you had whole yes. family with one room it's not like yes. an apartment but but and also we didn't have pep, you know we couldn't buy food but there were no it was not enough to permit that uh, your father had he it wasn't enough it wasn't enough, enough. 
Yes. I understand. So we we survived while we but we left not only in a ghetto but we were hidden actually. Yes. In uh, high up on the top it was just terribly cold. You remember that? Said, this I remember. You yes. remember. I suffered a lot when I was a child. I suffered a lot. My ear yes. infections and throat infections. The whole time I was sick because of the conditions. The conditions. Yes. So we stayed in ghetto for two years. Till what? Till 43. On 13th of March, 43. Yes. Then you, Krakow ghetto was Judenrein, which means Clean, liquidated, the whole gate. Yes, and then, then we fled through a canal, you know, like in the sewage so system. Sewage system, yes. So in, what in the, was street. the father, the mother, the grandfather? No, my grandfather passed away in the ghetto. Ah, he passed away in the ghetto. No, he passed away. It wasn't killed. He, he was sick away. or what? He was elderly. He was yes. uh, seventy-two. My dad. Uh, he passed away. Yes. Oh, Hashem, it was very complicated how he got really uh, kvure. It was very complicated. They had to smuggle him out of wow. the ghetto and it was uh, by Bo Hashem. So who fled? Your well. father, your mother? And we two children. Two children. Two children. Yes. yes. But when we fled, this was on the Shabbos, they always used to make their actual on Shabbos. At um, I remember, I was, by then I was already six. Yes. Six years old. Um, we, we, like, first of all, the, my mother went down the, the sewage system, and then they threw her the children because it was too, 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 too much time. The children should go down. Yes, so they, they threw, threw them down. Meters down, a few meters, threw the children down. So we were thrown down, my sister and myself, and then my two cousins, two boys, my mother's sister's children. Yes. And then while she was supposed to come down, apparently a German approached, or I don't know exactly what happened, but they suddenly closed, closed everything. The top. And so was, my mother was left there with four children. And what happened now to the sister? Mother, she was taken away. Was and there was a guy who led you in the sewage system? No, no. This way, we Yourself? Someone, not just ourselves. There were over 60 people. Ah, right uh -huh. there. and you planned and it all together it. to but flee my like My mother, my father, yes. he was also supposed to go down, but he didn't because when he was supposed to come right away after us, before they threw down the children, of yes. the, my, grand, my, uh, my cousins. So, but, but he said to my mother, he can't do this. Why? He can't do that. Why? Why? Because the, the, the Germans, they had such a minute that if someone didn't arrive at work, right on the spot, they shot 10 people who sat close to them. He said, he can't do it. He knows, we don't know who will, what will happen to anyone. But he can't take this is amazing himself. what you say because very often, you know, I, I bring this dilemma that Jews know that they would take revenge on other Jews and he and didn't he want to he flee. He said, so he I remained. Said, he remained and we didn't see him anymore. You didn't see him anymore. No, no. He afterwards, he, just at the end of the war, uh, someone testified that he was taken. He was killed in a very. Mm -hmm. very cruel way in, in Amatausen, but he went through a few... I understand. So now in the sewage system you have your mother, with your and your sister and two cousins. Two cousins. Yes. My mother was there with four children. And? And then we started walking in the sewage system. This I remember. I was six years old, I remember yes. already. And we went where there were a hall, there were over 60 people. But then we went and went, went, went for hours. And then we heard water flowing, which means we arrived at the end, and the end was um, 
Wisla. Yes, the Weisla. river that the river passes Weisla. through Krakow, the Wisla. Yeah. Yes, Wisla. So we knew we arrived at the end. It was still daytime, and suddenly I fainted. I, because I, I went, we went down this which I already had temperature, and I, I, I wasn't wet. So my mother was afraid. She, she said, I have to go out from here. It smells terribly. You know, it's a sewage system. And no oxygen smell. also. And, 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 and the walking and the, the tension, everything. So, so my mother said, I'm afraid the child will die in my hands. So everyone said, oh, it's very dangerous. Now it's still daytime. Let's wait till it's evening. Night. And then we'll night. They won't go out. No one, then people won't realize that we are dirty and we smell. <laughs> and so, but my mother said, no, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. And there was a young boy there who helped her. And we really got out. And right away I felt much better. And then my mother washed us. She, she, she took us next to the, we started to the river and she washed us. And, and then we started walking. You knew where to? Yes, because my parents had a, 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 a they knew a, a guy who was yes. a very decent person and even before the war started he told my parents if you need any help you know I'm just here. come I'm here yes so my mother knew the address and she said I'm going to there in what area was, was it? You know, you remember what area of Krakow was it? No, I don't know. Yes, but it was not in the Kazimierz in the Jewish area. Not no. anymore. Not anymore. Because we walked and walked, walked. for hours, and it was underneath the ground. Yes. Thing. So I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was already the Gorisha. Okay. Was this was the purpose? Yes. To come out from the Jewish system when the Gorisha part of the city. So we started walking and suddenly we saw soldiers, Polish and German soldiers. We are more afraid of the Polish uh, soldiers because they were much more cruel. They were, the Polish, uh, okay. they, they were more cruel than the Germans, very cruel. And one of them ran towards my mother and he asked her, Lady, did you see here Jews coming out from the sewage system? She, she was so shocked she couldn't even talk. She just yes. made like this with her no. head and, and, and we continued walking. We arrived at this guy. Yes. Um, there we met also a cousin of my mother who also who fled already beforehand because she was hidden there. And also another girl, well, soon I will speak about her. And, uh, but when we arrived, so the guy said, you, see, you have only two children. Now we arrive with four, four children, children and boys. It's dangerous. I can't do it. I'm very sorry. Yeah, boys, I can't accept Take because it. a boy you can see yes. whether he's Jewish or not. It's dangerous that you endanger my family. So what do you do with the boys? So there also was a girl there who, who used to babysit for, my, for these two cousins. She, she used to, so, so she said she'll, she'll take care of it and she'll find them places. She just needs a lot of money to pay going to... Yes. To hide the children. To hide the children. And she really found yes. to go in one in town in Krakow and another one close, very close to Krakow. Uh, so we could stay there meanwhile. So we had a bed to lay down. This was a luxury then because we the whole time we did when we weren't in a proper apartment right. because we had to hide my mother she she, she was not legal in uh, in in, in the ghetto, ghetto. yes uh, 
So, so how long did you stay by this guy? I don't know. I don't remember. It was a few weeks or a few months. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. But these two boys, one, the family where he was hidden, they were very uh, from Catholic going. I, maybe they even baptized him. Could be, could be, I'm not sure. But because of his reactions later, I think this is what they did. And they gave was a very clever boy. He was nine years old, a very clever boy. So he, they gave them books to read against Jews, against Judaism. The other one, they were, um, uh, what do you call this, Ikarim? Uh, uh, pa um, uh, farmers. Farmers. And they hit the boy, he was four and a half, in pig, where pigs were. Yeah, they, in the they, pig stable. The pig stable, yes. They did him there, they, he ate and then he slept. And they maltreated him yeah. terribly, terribly. Terribly. Well, because afterwards when he yes. came to us, we saw him terribly. So what happened with you after when? So after, now, but this I forgot to say that we heard that afterwards they, they, they found the opening where, for where we came out from the sewage system. They closed it. Hashem Yikom Dama. And they the all? For over 60 people. So it was a miracle that you fainted? It was, this was a miracle. That's yes, so your mother went out. Her. Mamish. Yes. So now you leave the goy. So now we lived at the goy. But and there was a plan to flee, to flee to Czechoslovakia and then to Hungary because yes. Hungary was was still not free. at war. Not at all. No, no, it was free. Yes. So this was the plan. But my mother said she can't leave without the two boys. Where are they? Now, this, this girl who took found care of them the a place to care yes. of them, she didn't tell us where they were because it was everything, it was dangerous. It was dangerous to, 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 to speak about it. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes. It was dangerous to speak about it. And, uh, and, and this girl, she was. She looked like a goiter, yeah, that's yes. why she, she, you know, she was free because she was yes. blonde and tall. But one day, someone in the street recognized her and said, this is a, this is a Jewish girl, this is a Jewish girl. So the, the, the gendarmes, the, the police, they took her and she tried to, to escape and she was shot. She was shot. So now, the two boys were in a place, no one knew no where way. they were, but my mother didn't want to leave Krakow without, before, the, boys. without the two boys. Now, the older boy, apparently these two boys, they had some contact, but I yeah. don't know exactly how. But where the older one was, one, not one day he heard the the, the, the people where he was hidden speak to, to talk to each other. We hide this Jewish boy and it's a danger for us. We don't receive any money. No one is coming to give us money because they, this girl always came and yes. took money from my mother. Yes. Where do we do have the money? We, you know, still in the ghetto, my mother used to so, uh, to sew? So, yes, golden coins inside the clo our clothing. Over. So, every time, time she took out? Every time she took out and she gave it. And uh, it, it was very valuable. So, th so he heard that they were talking to each other. We hide this boy. It's a danger for us. We don't receive any money. <laughs> what can we do? 
So then the, the one of them, her husband, the wife yeah. said, tonight, let's give him something to drink, something that he should fall asleep, and then we'll pack him into uh, a bag, a bag, and we'll throw, throw him into the, the whistler, into the water. So in the evening, when this guy came with a drink, so he told his Kermit boy, he said, I know that you don't receive any money for me now, and it's really a danger for you. I can give you an address where you can receive money. He knew where my mother was. was. I don't know how he knew. He was a clever boy. He remembered apparently. Yeah. Somehow he knew. I mean, he was there because yes, yes, because he, he was there when, when, when yes. they arrived when they fled from the ghetto. So that's how my mother found because we didn't know what to. Where now she knows where he is. Where he is, and apparently this. The, so he came. To, that's the uh, he came to us. Yes. Now why, why, why do I think that they baptized him? Because when he came to us, so my mother told him, I don't know where your parents are. I don't know because the ghetto was closely yes. liquidized, and I, I don't know, I, I don't know where where your parents are. Who knows whether they are still alive? So he said, a little boy, he said, they deserve it. They deserve it because they killed our savior. So that's, this is how I understand. He was already it. brainwashed by them. Well, brainwashed already, yes. It was so difficult with him afterwards. Possible yeah. to pretty clear time. I don't know how my mother had the courage to deal with him, but he was with us. Now, they these two go him apparently set some context, so that's how the younger one also yes arrived arrived, and uh, but he was full of boils of my. Uh, they beat him up, and, they, and he was the whole time with the pigs, with the dog. I, I know whenever my, my mother cleaned his wounds, we ran away because it was terrible, terribly smelly. So now my mother had four children and tried to find a way to get out of Poland. Many, many places, many places, from one boy to another to another. Yes. Many places. My mother met her uh, after the war, he met a question that we were all together in 32 places. 32 places? places. Different places with four children and women alone. And always walking, walking, walking for hours, usually at night, so that no one should see us. Twice we tried to get over the border to Czechoslovakia. One, as I remember also, we went up at night, always at night, but there were Goyshe um, smugglers. Smugglers, yes. Again, you had to pay. You had the money, of course. The money, but they were always in, <coughs> sorry, in groups. Yes. Small groups, smaller groups, not not sixty people, but still. And uh, so we went up a mountain, and the border was on top of the mountain. And uh, we, we knew all the children knew you are not allowed to to cry, you are not allowed to speak, you you are to be quiet all the time. We went up, 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 up. It was very steep, very steep mountain. Very steep mountain. And while we were almost at the top, suddenly we heard in German, Bussy slows. What happens? Apparently, yeah. a German soldier heard some noise, yes. So 
it was very steep mountain, so we all sat down and right away, uh, Lie down. arrived at the bottom, bottom of the mountain. This was mine. The second time, it was a different part of the border. So this I remember. We walked and walked and walked and walked and on one side of the of the, the uh, but it wasn't a street, it was yeah. like a, 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 a place where cars could go, but on one side there was a steep mountain, on the other side there was um, uh, many trees, uh, so, and it was in the, in the night, at night, so there were almost no cars passing by, but whenever a car passed by, Right away, we all ran and hid in the trees. In the trees, yes. So once, while we hid, the car stopped. Apparently, they saw something. They realized that, yeah. that there were some people here, and it turned out there were German soldiers with big dogs. Dogs, yes, big dogs. And they sent the dogs into the woods, yes, to, and they all they caught us, all of us. The dogs, they, they caught us, they, 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 they catch a person by the throat, but they don't bite, no? Unless the person tries hard to, them, yes. to run away, then they bite, but otherwise they don't, but they just keep them so far. But we are, we are shocked, yes. I remember I brought them on for years and years. I was so afraid of dogs, dogs. <laughs> for years, many years, go watch them today. No? No. So, so they caught us all and then they, we, we had to stand in a row close to the, to, to where, where the steep uh, mountain, when it started, we had to close and one soldier you know, said you stay all in a row, and he was already ready to shoot, shoot us. Remember, my mother stayed with us, Shema Israel. And while we were waiting for the shots, another car arrived, and it turned out they were Czechoslovakian soldiers. They right away, what's happening? What's going on here? So they told us we called the Jews and you know, so they said, no, to shoot but this them. is already, but they said, this is already Slovakian territory and you are, the Jews belong to us, not to you. This is like a matter, a mess, mamas, mess got her. And then we, we, were taken, we were taken by the Slovakian soldiers and the, um, they brought us to a, a what do you call this place? Uh, uh, the prison. A prison. They, it was already, we didn't know even, but it was apparently already Slovakian uh, territory. territory. Yes. I don't know how this place was called. It was a very small town, but there was a Jewish community there. When they heard that Polish Jews were caught and they are in prison, so they paid a lot of ransom money. We yes, a lot. It's a, it's a mitzvah. Mama scream. They paid a lot. I don't know how they collected. It was a pure, poor community. And they took you out. And they could, except my mother. Why? She was a very, uh, very strong woman, and she spoke a few languages. So the Slovakians, they thought that she was the leader of this whole group. It wasn't true, yeah. but this is what they thought. They were afraid to uh, let her out of the prison because they were afraid afterwards the Germans will come and they will have yeah. sores from it. So, so, yeah, so, but with us together was a cousin of my mother. She was also there with two children. So the head of the community, of Jewish community, spoke to her and he asked her, are you ready to take these poor children with you? We'll get you over the border to Hungary 
will we will write smugglers and we'll take you to and I promise we'll do everything to get this woman out of prison. But right now That's the situation. It's, that's yes. the situation. Are you ready? And she was ready. And this is I think she's there. Wow. So you know, these those times except for her two children to take upon herself four, four children. children without mm. knowing whether ever she will see their mother again. It was a very an outstanding woman, outstanding woman. So that we like then we really they took us out. Yes. We paid a lot of ransom and they took us out and we were I remember even I, I, we had to lay down in the, in the, this was a huge car and we had to lay on the ground and we had to, we queue to Hungary, to, to, Hungary Budapest. to Budapest. To Budapest, uh, Hungary was free by then, not yet captured by the Germans mm. and really the the community in Budapest, they treated us very well. They took care of yes. us, should have where to stay and to, to eat. So. But they never believed us. No. They did not believe. Yeah, what do you mean? The stories that you no, told, they didn't believe? No, they that's didn't what believe. I keep hearing about. Have you hear this? Yes. yes again and you. again. Ah, no. Smices. Mice, the Polish Jews, they not hundred percent okay what kind of mice they tell us. This German nation, this cult, you know, culture. cultured country and these German people were like impossible. They ne never believed us. But anyway, we were there with yes. this auntie, with this cousin of my mother. And so what happened to my mother meanwhile? She was imprisoned. And she she got sick, really sick. Okay, she was worried and yeah. went to her. she didn't know what happened to her children, to the two nep nephews. And so she she told in the prison, she said there is a uh, international law that the prisoner who is sick, you have to call a doctor. Oh, she, was a, she was a character. She was a, oh, <laughs> she was a real character. Unbelievable. Yeah, she had, okay, they called the doctor, and the doctor said she has to be hospitalized. She has to go in hospital because she's very, really, very sick. sick. So she was in hospital, and the first opportunity that she had, she fled. She ran away. She oh. ran away, and she ran to the Jewish community, and right away they helped her. And she got out, and I don't know how long, but it was quite a few weeks later she arrived in Budapest. And, and you were reunited. Her. Yes. Then we lived, and we were like we lived like Jews. Yes. In Budapest. In Budapest. Yes. But we arrived in Budapest. This was. Uh, yeah, maybe the end of 43. Really? So about half a, half a year we were on our yes. way, all different places, fleeing from one place to another, and walking, walking at night. Away. So I mean, we walked during all these, we walked, my cousin, my older cousin, and myself. But the, my sister, she was four and a half, and my nephew who also was from I yeah. couldn't walk for so many hours always. So my sh my mother used to carry them in, in some blanket or some sheet, one here and one, one there. And it was so how long were you? We were on, on this half a year, yeah. I remember so many times walking always on the side. Yeah. That we had somewhere where to hide right away when a car passed by. Yes. And we had to lay down in the mud and yes. in the dirt. So anyway, now we were going to be and we were in Budapest. And then Hitler overtook 
Uh, Hungary. Hungary, yes. I, I don't know, it was maybe March or April 44. 44. Yes. So for a few weeks, a few months, we already were in Budapest. Yes. I remember, yes, I remember someone offered me uh, a fruit to eat. A fruit. <laughs> I was biting. It was like an Eden. <laughs> you know, you were hungry you know, for, for, for really for not months but years. You were hungry and, and, and suddenly and at the bed to sleep, a proper bed with a sheet. So, but when right away when Hitler arrived in when he overtook Hungary. My mother before went already, she uh, uh, bought fake papers that we are going with Goyish names. Yes. And right away when Hitler overtook Hungary, we, we, well, we, the Budapest, it actually it's two parts. Yes. It's Buddha and, and Pest. Pest. Yes. Buddha, they were mostly going lived there. It best lived Jews yes. also, not only Jews, but mm -hmm. also Jews. So we lived in Pest. But <coughs> when Hitler overtook Hungary, we right away, my mother took us, four children, with to a Buddha. suitcase, and we went to Buddha. And her cover story was, how does she, how does she come there yes. with four children? So we are going, and we have Goetia names, we are from Poland because we spoke Polish, yes? Yeah. We are from Poland. So uh, uh, the story she told everyone was that her husband is a soldier and he fled the army. He didn't want to be in the army. He fled he and she knows, she knows that he is in Budapest. That's why she came with all her children <coughs> to look for to him. Look for him. No, everyone believed it. Everyone yeah. believed it. So we lived there with going. But my mother never worked. I mean she was busy with her children. So where did you where did you have money? Already the the money that you had already was gone. It's gone. But how do we buy food, water? Yes. So while we were in past, the Jewish community they helped us, they were very helpful. But afterwards but there was a family, you, you know them, Lederberger. Yes. Lederberger. There were uh, three, do, three girls and four boys. Boys? Yes. And they, they, they looked at, especially the boys, they were tall and blonde, they looked like Goyim. So they, they knew where we were hidden, but also they knew other families. Yeah. And they they brought us food. Food. How did they get the food? It was, uh, Budapest was bombed by the Russians, by the British, by the Americans, yes. and by the France. Four different words was bombed. So whenever they bombed a factory or a shop, so it was half care. So everyone came and collected and took. whatever took whatever was there. So they also they went and then they they divided, they distributed it among the families who were hidden as going. Yes, that's how we had food. I remember once they brought us like a big barrel full of um, of. Uh, um, no, how they say, my love, I found how it's... Pickled, pickles. Pickled cucumbers. Yes, so we ate morning, <laughs> lunch and evening. Pickles. Pickled cucumbers, <laughs> yes. From then on, I love it. I really yes. like this was fun. It was so delicious. Also, my mother knew, I don't know how she knew, but she knew exactly which mm. trees you can eat the leaves. She knew, I don't know how she knew which she knew, so she picked them and she cooked them and we had like a delicious soup from it. I don't know how she knew. So, this, you know, Lederberger, Ben Fischer, 
Yeah, no, of course, the mother, the, yes, the mother is Cosme, yeah, the grandmother is Elisa Berger. Yeah, we are still so close. close. We are related to Lolek Elisa Berger also. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. we know the Elisa Bergers. Yeah. So they kept you alive with the food. With the food, yes. They kept us alive. Now we are very close. Yes, yes. In, in amazing. So for how long was this story? So that in Hungary, it was for a whole year. A whole year. Yeah, till the end of the war. So we left us going amongst... Whenever my mother thought that someone is looking at us, a stranger, what? We tried to wave, pack our things, ran to her and looked for another apartment. Another apartment. So you also and went she, from place to yes, place there? also there, many, very often. And also, she never let the boys go alone to the toilet. Never, never. Yes. She, she, she was afraid, afraid that somebody would find out that we are Jewish. And we, we, they also saw us, saw us, saw not many Siate Dishmaya. Like, for instance, my mother, she learned in Goish schools. Yes, like everyone did there. She, she was one of the first pupils of Sarah Shanira. Well, but she didn't learn long because while, while she was learning there, her mother passed away, my yeah. grandmother, and then she had to go to work okay. to support her father. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, but, uh, but when she was in Goishi schools, then in the morning, the Goishi girls used to pray their prayers. Now the Jewish girls, didn't have to pray with them, but they had to stay in the classroom. So she picked up the prayers. So now, this was the Seatit Ishmael, why we were with all the goyim in the martefa, um, in the cellar. Yes, the cellars, yes. yes. So she used to say with us these prayers in Polish, yes? Yeah. And then the, the, the goyim asked, what are you saying See? with your children? She started to translate to them. And she picked up Hungary, not Hungary. again German. Ah, German. she spoke she German. She German, but they, some of them. Yes, they understood. So they said, oh, that's exactly our prayers. Wow. That's exactly. So this was the Seattle, this, you know. They could believe her. They believe that she is a real Tigoite, yeah. So we are, for a whole year, yeah, a whole, whole year. year, we were like living like going. Now, I knew also my. I call him brother, but he's actually a cousin by order. We knew that it's only like a fake story. It's not true. We are not going. But my sister and my younger cousin, they really believed we are going. Because they were too small. We were afraid. They, they, you know, they would speak about it. They would say something. So they, it was so anti-Semitic. Once, the, where we lived, this was close to the Danube. The Danube, the Danube. Yeah. So once we heard shots, so someone came in to the cellar and said, what, what's going on? Who, 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 they're shooting at people. He said, people? No, Jews. These were, the, these were our... Yeah. These were the this you had to hear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what? The and then you uh, were there till the liberation? Till the liberation. The Russians came to came liberate you? Came, and then right away we, we, we came back to Pest. Yes. We left Buddha. And, uh, and my mother, she never wanted to take stock and money. Never, never wanted. So she opened a shop. Right after the liberation, she opened yes. herself. Now, she spoke Polish, which is a bit similar to Russian. Yes. So the Russian soldiers used to come to buy... What kind of a shop? Um, this, before the war already, they... Uh, um, oh, leather, leather. Leather. Leather, yes. Yes. So, she... But she, she spoke Polish, yes. which is similar. But yeah. So the soldiers, they came to buy leather for their shoes, for yes. their coats. So it, it is it's a good panacea. It was a good panacea. 
Actually. But we, during the day, we were all in a, a Jewish, uh, um, it was a Mursa, uh, like institution. institution, yes. Only we slept at home. Yes. But for, for, uh, at home, that means. Well, yes. We, we rented the room. And, but during the day, the mother was working. Okay. But we were. And for how long did it go on like this? Yes, we went on for we another year. Another year? Yeah. But then she heard that came people who testified that my father was killed. And she there, she were married. Yes. Also in Budapest, uh, in Budapest, a widow who had lost his wife and children. Yes, the new one here is a shade. Here you see this. The one that the oh, right hand right side, side, the left one is a Polish. It's a Polish roof. Yes. Yeah. So what was his name? The new one is a shade. Yes. Yes. And then after a year, we went to Austria, to Vienna. To Vienna. And my my father, my stepfather, he became the Rosh He was Rosh Kol, yes, I heard, the Shreiber. Yes. A descendant from the Hasim Seifer. Uh, not directly. Not directly. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, my, my brother-in-law, Yakiva Shreiber, he is a director. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But we are also called Shreiber. So you lived in Vienna later. After us in Vienna. Yeah. And, and, then, and then you came to Israel. Uh, from Vienna. After uh, we came once for a visit, and I met my husband, and I married him here now. And then and uh, 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 I think Let's that see. your story is full with miracles, miracles from the beginning to the end, and also I think that your mother must have been, and I think that she took another two children when it was so dangerous, even with your own ones. You know, how will you manage? How will you feed them? She had that greatness to take another two nephews. This is unbelievable. You know, when I think about that, and I, this is a schus, and this schus, maybe, you know, you all survived, and, and she was very creative, and, and unbelievable. She must have been very, uh, well, very special. Very special. Very, very special. Very special. Wow. And, and, and you full see her for Moon. And Moon. Full of. Uh, the most difficult times. Like remember once while we were in the cellar with all these going, so the one of the Lederberger girls was with us. Yeah. Then, and she said, Oh you know, this 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 uh, bomb is is, is falling cool. upon us. So it's, uh, my mother said, Don't speak like this. Yes. We were saved so many times. Yes. I could spoke on Lapsa and he had done so many missing so for us. Nothing will happen, happen to us. He strengths is she strengths. Yes. yes. Uh, maybe I want to show you a picture of her mother. Okay. Yes. Well, you have before, can I just um, Yes, yes. Just one thing, man, yes, please. Yeah, yes. Was, um, yes. So I just want to thank you both. <laughs> but Rupert uh, there are no words. I and just the Nissim, exactly what okay. Rupert okay. said. It's yeah. that your mother that she it's unbelievable. It is. So it's I, something. I, I only speak, you know, that I, I remember there are many, many, many more. Yeah. Also, maybe sometimes, you know, I was a child. The child sees differently things and understands differently. And also, I wasn't told everything. Mm. Like I remember once my father, still in ghetto, he came and said, it was full of blood here. So. What happened? What happened? She said, no, 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 only I tried to shave myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that he was hit by a German or something, because full of blood. But, but he, so, they didn't want to tell me. So maybe yeah. there are other things that I saw differently, or understood differently, that it was. But this is the, what I want to have. Rubinson, can I ask you, what, what message do you give? The message. A message do you give to to your mishpacha and to future yeah. generations? I tell you what I felt. I was still a, a young girl. And when, when, after the war, I was still a young girl. But I always felt like, why, why am I alive? 
and all the others, the, you know, in Ganadin, yes, why? So apparently Hashem wants me to live the life, not only my own life, but to live the life of many others, to do more and more and more. I, I felt like it's a responsibility that I, this is what I feel up till today. I don't know if I'm right, but this is how I feel. I just want to add that Rabbi Schlesinger had a schos to be married to Rabbi Schlesinger, who is the Rosh Hashiva of the Yeshiva Skalzaira, with so many Talmidim all over the world. He's been raising a whole generation of Talmidei Chachomim. This is all the women, the great women who stands behind a great man, and I'm sure that this is one of the schusim of the Rabbi Schlesinger, that she sees her children, her family, and all the Torah world that she erased Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing this amazing story with us and giving Irving this special, special message to to next generations. Thank you. Thank you, and thank thank you. you very much. You really are now words. It's yes. Just <laughs> Nisim Fine. Thank you very, very much. Okay. So this was the mother of the Rebbe Schlesinger. Yeah, thank you. When did she pass away? How many years ago? She lived with us in her last years. Ah, she was here in here. Yes, she was here, here. Uh -huh. uh, wow, amazing indeed. Thank you.